Shiver 1000 here. Monkey. A monkey. So as you can tell from the title, we're going camping. We're running about 30 minutes late, which is right on time for Monkey. Uh, got Bruno back there somewhere. He's been excited all night long. Didn't hardly sleep much. Nope. It's been a while since we've been. Oh, I. I was camping. I went camping in November. Mm -hmm. Did my solo thing. So, stick around, and uh, we're gonna be gone for three days, three nights. Three nights. Four days. Yep. It's Friday. We're coming back Monday. Yep. We're heading to Jacksonville. Three and a half hours. Yeah. So, we're on our way. Stick around. Okay, so I think I got everything. Um, I got a crap load of cameras. <laughs> yeah. Camera equipment got the drone so we're going to be right across the street from the ocean right yep so i should be if that storm we got a storm coming in so this should be interesting but if it doesn't get too windy i'll take the drone out over the ocean get some shots for you maybe we'll see some dolphins i don't know but neither one of us has ever been here so well we've been to jacksonville but not we haven't camped up here, so we're going to try this place out. Um, we upgraded. Because she had called yesterday, and the woman said that the um, that that the tent spot was, like, right near the road, and it would be kind of noisy. So she said if we want to pay a little extra, we could get an RV spot with a hookup. So that's what we did, you know. So we're not really roughing it. We're car camping. Well, we're going to be sleeping in the tent, but... When I say that, I mean, because I know I had a couple comments a few years ago about car camping, but you're not sleeping in the car. That's not what it means. <laughs> it meant that we're not hiking in somewhere for four or five miles. I can't do it anymore. But within this video, which will be separate videos, I'll be doing a review of a couple things. So that should be interesting. I've got a weekend of activities planned. I got Monkey's birthday present coming today, and I'm not going to be there to get it, so hopefully her mom can get it if they don't leave it in the mailbox, so. And if they do, that's kind of going to... But, yeah, that's what's coming today. Ah. Her birthday present. She's going to get it early. Her birthday's the 31st of this month, so don't forget to visit her channel and tell her happy birthday. Um... But it's the 31st, but she's getting it early, so. Uh, then, well, I had to buy her something else last night. <laughs> Cold shoe mount, for those of you guys that don't know what it is. It's, most most of your cameras have a, either a hot shoe mount or cold shoe mount. Hot shoe mount, like what this camera has, is I can put a mic up there or a light, and it, the camera itself will actually power it cold shoe mount is just a mount that you put your camera on and you can put a light and stuff that's on its own power on it. Uh, she broke hers last night trying to jam it into a brand new bag I got her. So I was like she ordered her another one. So maybe she'll do a review on it. Um, so yeah we got a ways to go. We just left the house. We've been on the road about 10 minutes so here we go.
Okay guys, we're at the campgrounds. We are right back over in there, just a short walk. We're supposed to have a private, our lot was supposed to be private, and I mean it's like from here to this sign away from the neighbors, I'll show you in a little bit. I don't know. Anyway, this is the lake. Which, where I'm from, this would be a pond, but this is supposedly the lake. Alligator area. So you can't swim in here. You gotta go across the, the road over there and go to the ocean, so... We haven't set up the tent yet or anything. Not sure what that thing's for. No. So I figure sometime this weekend, maybe tonight, I'll try this fishing out. Well, I figured a lake. I figured, cool, you know. Um... I just figured uh, I'd try the lake, but I'm not sure how well the fishing's going. I don't even know what fish they got in here or anything. May have to be fishing over on the uh, in in the ocean, but I'm not equipped for ocean fishing, you know. Come on, my. she's holding Bruno so he don't get eaten by a gator. So, I don't know. There could be fish in here. I don't know. We'll have to see. Alright. We're going to take you over to the campsite. Like I said, we don't have the tent set up. So, just right around that corner there. We'll get the tent set up and then I'll kick you back on. Okay, here's our spot. So, I figure what we're going to do is put the tent here. Right in here. We we'll parked the car there for a little bit of privacy, but as you can see, here's our fire ring. And there's their fire ring. Our picnic table. But yeah. There's our our electric thing right there. Mm -hmm. Alright, time to get the tent up. Okay guys, so we got the tent up. Um, the, we put it on that side so we have the car sitting here so we block their sound of the air conditioning give us a little bit more privacy here's our cut our chairs with our umbrellas and, oh, Bruno's happy we're going to go to the camp store and get some bait so I can do some night fishing tonight it is Friday the 13th so maybe I'll do a live stream tell some spooky stories so Okay, I scooted, we scooted that table over there so he could sit up on that bench and um, he dug a hole and laid in it. Great. Okay, so. Yeah, we're kind of pretty much set up here, so. Awesome. We'll be back with you in a couple minutes. Well, I'll be back with you in a second. Okay, guys. We found the ocean. Sorry about the wind. It's very windy. So. I'm gonna take a walk up here and check this out. I see some ships out there on the horizon. Again, sorry for the wind. I'll try to turn it down as much as possible. What? I asked you if it was charged. You can use pavilions throughout this, um, but you gotta you gotta have a permit. Let's see, we got the yellow, so medium hazard. Come on, Bruno. You're gonna. I can't do that. I never did. 
ship out there. So we are at the Atlantic. but she wouldn't put him in so he was too small so now she's letting him try it out I can't go I got my boots on so. <laughs> Okay guys, nothing fancy tonight. We're just going to have some corned beef hash and some eggs. Cause she's hungry, I'm hungry, so we're just going to cook this up tonight. We brought pork chops, we've got um, stuff to make chili, we've got chicken wings, so... So this is all we're doing for supper. I'm brown this up. Once I do, I'll just throw a couple eggs on top. A couple eggs a piece. And we'll have our dinner. Okay, so there we go. We got two eggs each. Well, we got plenty of eggs. We got two eggs each, and then the monkey's gonna wash a couple plates because um, we brought we got paper. Well, these they're like styrofoam, but the hot grease will melt right through that. So I'll be back with you. Okay, so I made Bruno some eggs. They cooled down. The monkey went and dipped him out for him and went and got him put him on his leash and the first thing he did was try to bury it oh my god dude why 
Bruno. Bruno, why did, why Bruno? Why did you why did you bury your eggs? Wait, he's mad at you. I so, have feelings. <laughs> It was like over 100 degrees in the sun. It was like 90 something in the shade. So as you can see, we don't have a fire going, but I brought me out a little fan and Monkey conveniently turned it to her so I cannot feel it. You can't feel that, then turn it. So there's that. But anyway, or whatever. I can't believe you did that. I can. Try out this new rod and reel that Monkey bought me for her birthday. <laughs> it's the same one I got at home. Well, not the rod. But it's the same reel. It's a Black Max. So, uh, but this one's right-handed reel. My other one's left-handed reel. Now, the only reason why I got the left-handed one at home was because that's all they had at Walmart that day, so. All right, I gotta do some adjusting here so I don't get backlashed. Okay, I got a bite here. Okay, I got something on here. Ah, damn it. Okay, well, cut me a leather back. No, Bruno. <laughs> cut a little soft shell. Let's see if I can get you up here. something I can eat. Well, I can eat these, but I don't feel like cleaning it. Hey! Soft shell turtle. You ever seen a soft shell? We call them leatherbacks up north. Caught a pretty good sized fish when we were walking up. All right, let me get him off the hook. Okay, guys, so it is. I don't know what time it is. Me and Bruno's going to do a bachelor thing for a little bit. Monkey wanted to go swimming. I was just too tired. The heat got me. Uh, time is 7:56. So. Uh, so monkey ran over just a mile or so over to the ocean she wanted me to put my drone up this evening but I was just too tired I told her I said <coughs> man if you want to go I'll keep Bruno here that way she could go enjoy herself for a little bit we're in the tent I got the fan blowing on me I may take a little nap till she gets back might do some night fishing. I was going to do live stream tonight, but just too tired. I was up all night, and um, so and like I said, it was 
well over 100 degrees in the sun it was like 90 something in the shade so uh, yeah that's Fahrenheit but uh, it's starting to cool down now evening time mosquitoes eh, they're not as bad as I thought they would be so they're not too bad so anyway I'm gonna take a little nap and I'll be with you here shortly figure out what we're going to do next <laughs> Hang tight, guys. Okay, guys, so, monkey found her way back. Where you at, you know who you are? Yep, monkey. Wait. She found her. I found my way back. <coughs> and then she pulls up right in front of the tent, messages me, she wants to go get a shower, and I'm like, I, I don't know why she was messaging me, she could have touched the tent from rolling down the window but anyway she was and I said all right go ahead and I'll walk up later so I get back out of the tent I'm sitting out just sat down she forgot the soap <laughs> yeah. she had to come back and a little blur she had to come back and get the soap so I just went ahead and went and had my shower too instead of walking down there she said it's going to four I was like hell it ain't four just, just a couple blocks up there, and so, um, so this is the end of day one. So tomorrow morning at nine o'clock, we're supposed to get thunderstorm, and there is a naval base, like um, probably from right where we're at, about a mile, maybe, about a mile, mile and a half. To the naval base so i don't know if i'll be able to even put the drone up here so because there's helicopters you've seen flying past coming from that naval base because i wanted to put the drone up there's a lighthouse over there so i wanted to put the drone up so i don't know if i'll be able to get it up in the air or not because if they ping me on radar they can track me so it might not be a good thing I'll have to see, but the cool thing is when I turn it on the app, like wherever it's a no drone, like if it's a no no drone zone, it'll it'll show me, which is my home point, and then like it'll be red around me or green around me, so I'll know whether I can put the drone up or not. But if it's going to be storming, I won't be able to put the drone up anyway. So if it's going to be storming, we're I don't know. We'll go find something to do, huh? So anyway, stay tuned for day two. So anyway. Like you have for now. Good morning everyone. Shea Bear 1000 here. It is 7.54 a.m. I'm gonna start making breakfast. We got a day of activities planned. I think one of them's gonna be rain. Stick around, join us for the fun. Okay guys, so we had our breakfast. As soon as we got done eating, it was starting to rain. <clears throat> had one wild storm come through. Thunder, lightning, wind, rain. Tent held up nicely. Not one leak. 60 bucks. I've heard them. Um, big time YouTubers talk about oh don't buy that cheap stuff ain't worth the money well this is Nose Ark Trail and it's never leaked once and it's rained every time we've had it out so you know 60 bucks yeah you can't beat it alright so I'm not sure what we're going to do now so I'll get back with you
Okay guys, as you can see the weather has not improved. It's still raining, but there's a little restaurant over here. We're gonna grab a bite to eat. Then we'll walk around here and check this out. I happen to have fishing poles and a little bit of bait with me. So I see a bench over there. So let's go get something to eat. Okay, so we're fishing down here. I caught a catfish. Monkey caught a crab, not the crabs, but a crab, a big old blue crab. I was just, just getting ready to come over and help her with it and he let go. But they're biting. But anyway, this is pretty cool. There's some party girls over there on that boat there. I told Monkey, that big uh, yacht, I told Monkey I should fly my drone right through the bridge of that thing. What the fuck was that? <laughs> But, yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, it's fixing to get nasty, it looks like, over in there. But we're definitely, the bait, the bait stores just on the other side of that tan building there. And uh, it closed at five, and I, we started running low on bait at like 5.28, and they closed at five. I was like, on it. Uh, so, Anyway, we're going to get some bait. We're coming back tomorrow. But right now, we're going to sacrifice one of the pork chops. I'm going to cut it up, and we're going to try that. See how that goes. Stick around, guys. We're on, still on day two here. Bad storm this morning. Yeah, it got windy and rain and lightning and thunder and wind. It was pretty wild. I mean, I'm not talking just some rumbles. I'm talking... It was, I mean, shaking the ground, thunder. So yeah, that's pretty cool, that's a long bridge there. All right guys, I'll be back with you. Okay guys, so we're back at the campsite. Uh, rest of the afternoon went well. I caught uh, six or seven catfish and a bunch of crabs. A uh, monkey caught a catfish, but it's like one o'clock in the morning now, so um, not much cooking on this trip. I think tomorrow she wants to go see the sunrise on the beach, and then I'll see if she wants to. And then she wants to go have breakfast. So, um. So there wasn't nothing I could really cook tonight anyway because they must have got more rain over here even though we was only a few miles away. Hang on. Camera lens is fog. <laughs> fogging up. Even though we were only about seven miles away or whatever anyway they I think they got more rain here because it's a lot wetter here than it was when we left the up there at the bridges so hopefully I know it's a short video for day two but we'll still have tomorrow there's a bunch of geocaches around here we're going to go try to find I was going to do that today but it stormed so I think what we'll do is we'll go do that and I'll bring you along with, with us for that. Uh, I didn't film any of the fishing thing because they wasn't like super big fish. So we was just relaxing. But I do have some footage, drone footage. And I flew the drone under the bridges. So enjoy those clips. They'll be coming up next.
Here we are headed into day three. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know if you can hear that, but it is pouring. So much for the sunrise. <laughs> okay, so guys, we are on day three. And as you've seen, it stormed again, huh? Oh, yeah. Then it rained all morning after that, didn't it? Yeah. So it is 11.56 now. And what are we doing? We're going to the beach. What are we going to do? We're going to put the drone up. Yes. This is so dark. Well, it is dark. Got a hazy thing around here. There, that's a little bit better. Anyway, so we're going to go put the drone up and get some beach footage for you because I checked my drone and I can fly it there. I just can't go over 396 feet there. So, All right. All so right. as long as I stay at that point. I'll take you a little bit over the ocean, but I mean, I am, I, I'm not going far. <laughs> okay. See if you can get that lighthouse. I can't go up to that lighthouse. It's, she wants me to go film. <laughs> yeah, right. She wants me to go, go film this lighthouse with the drone, which is on a naval base, which is in the red. So I cannot drone that. Well, can't you get close, like to the line and, and kind of look at it? So at least you get some kind of view? I don't want to take... If they ping my drone... Well, it's on you and not me. It'll be alright. We'll be back with you. <laughs>
Okay, so as you guys seen from the clip, we had the drone up. I didn't go too high because it was giving me warnings that I need, if I go higher than 396 feet, you know, I'm taking full responsibility. But the wind was crazy. I know it don't show it in the drone. It was nuts, wasn't it? Yeah, it was really breezy. It was reading 17. The wind was blowing 17 miles an hour at 62 feet in air. Wow. And that drone is pretty stable other than when I hit that power line. hit the power line guys I did not save that I just pretty much let go of the joysticks and thought well you know it's, it's going to crash yeah. and that thing immediately you seen how quick that was as soon as I let go of the joysticks it flew away from it and went up yeah that drone is amazing DJI Mini 2 guys you want a good drone that's awesome huh how much was it like around 500 bucks but you can pay more and get you get a like extra stuff with it you know so well, they have accessories. yeah you'll get like extra battery and shit i tell you but, what i can't believe it saved itself i thought it was coming down <laughs> that was and it amazing. was on cement concrete and uh yeah it would have smashed it yeah we're only we're only three-fourths of a mile from a naval base so I mean, I know more, we was going over the footage of that. I mean, I brought the drone in and was going over the footage of that where I hit the the power line. And here comes the police department rolling up to move some cones, but we didn't know it at the time. And I looked at her, I said, damn, these naval boys don't mess around. <laughs> no, I, knew they couldn't, it down. I knew they couldn't get me. I was only 62 or 64 feet up. So I knew that I wasn't on their radar and I knew I was, you know, I'm in a limited airspace. That means I can't go any higher than 364, 396 feet. And they can't, and like an aircraft is not allowed to go lower than that. All right. So that way it gives you, you know, four feet buffering zone so you guys don't crash. So, I don't know, but that wind is what scared me. So I got some footage for you. We're going to, I'm going to later on this afternoon, I'm going to get some footage of the, uh, we're going to go get something to eat and then go back because I'm going to go check out the, the, uh, the beach. But later this afternoon, I'll get some area shots of the whole camp area, the campground. So that should be interesting. So, but we're going to go get some of So hang tight, guys. We'll be back. Okay, guys, so we're at McDonald's. I just thought this place was cool. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's not original because apparently there's only seven left in the United States and none of them's in Florida. But I just thought it was pretty cool because that's the way they used to look. So for you younger guys and gals, that's what the old McDonald's used to look like. Jesus. Yeah, whenever I'm trying to film. So anyway, yeah, that's pretty cool. Well, we asked some woman inside. Well, because we went through the drive-thru, a monkey asked, and she was like, you know what, I don't even know. I don't know, probably not, I don't know. But I just thought it was really cool. I mean, the arches look like they've been there a while. Well, Monkey looked it up and they say there's only seven of the originals left in the United States. And there's a couple in New Jersey, one in Connecticut. So I don't know. Well, just thought it was neat though. Bruno had a Happy Meal. <laughs> okay guys, sorry about the wind. Just wanted to share some more beach with you. You guys got one of them hydrofoils out there, it's pretty cool. Right down there is the naval base. Can you get a closer on it? No, oh, that's my tripod. I can't see nothing. there 
fish with a blue shirt on. a little wagon and I gotta go put that two horsepower Briggs and Stratton on it because <laughs> she opted for the one with the little tires I don't know why we're in Florida surrounded yeah. by sand yeah but we're gonna use it mostly around the house well I don't know maybe we should have got the other one I can pull it though you can walk Bruno Bruno was in the water yeah he's, ca he's kind of scared of it but I came and got him I said, come on, let's go save mommy. And she was hollering Bruno, and he blessed his heart. He was way out there and over his head yeah. trying to save mommy. Uh, <laughs> and he's drying out now. <laughs> <laughs> Bruno, would you save mommy? <laughs> I got him with his ear up. <laughs> oh, he's so funny. All right, more to come, guys. So we can walking down through here and check this out. Which one is it, Monk? She had to hit the button. <laughs> yeah, I see the tail lights blinking on it. Okay, so that's that's pretty freaking cool right there. Yeah, but the ends are different. No, they're not. Okay. So we're back at the camp site. So we're going to go right over there's the lake. And I'm going to put the drone up for you. See if I can get some drone footage of here. And then we'll come back. We might get our fishing poles and go fishing. We're not sure yet. Looks like it's going to rain, but we'll see. So here's some drone footage of the campground.
as you've seen I got some drone footage um, went across the lake for you but we got down there and went to fire up the drone and uh, it paired up and everything but it wouldn't take off wasn't giving me any codes so it said to you know I needed to update the firmware which I, I did this morning but so I updated it again this time it was for the battery because I put a battery in I never used in it before it's the it's the battery for that drone it's from DJI from Mavic but anytime you put a new battery in it's got to update the firmware to that battery so still didn't want to take off and there was a like a forest ranger sitting down there and he come over and talk to us and let us know that you know the Air Force base might not be letting me take off he said, you know, and if you do, if you can get it to take off, he said, they, they might shut you down and send your drone back to you. Or whatever. So anyway, I updated the firmware, and this time it came up and it asked, I had to send in for permission to the naval base up here. So, you know, it asked me for my phone number. I gave him my phone number, and then it came, they sent me a text with a uh, with a code a six digit code and that I had to type in and once I typed in it said uh, uh, permission granted clear for takeoff or something so uh, yeah that's pretty cool man I had to get clearance from the Navy to fly over here so that was pretty neat so that all that footage was after I got clearance it took them a few minutes but then they cleared me to fly so that's pretty cool so, because it says, you know, uh, something like um, to get permissions or ask permissions. So I did. I sent it. And it was just about a minute later they cleared it. Like, so if they're, like Friday when we got here, uh, you know, the helicopters were flying by. They probably wouldn't, um, wouldn't have cleared me then because they were doing their maneuvers or whatever. But today they cleared me and that's what he said he said he had a couple drownings uh, out here a couple times he said a couple drownings and they had to get their drones up in the air to see if they could find a person and uh, they had they actually had to get clearance from the naval base he said a couple times they gave him clearance and one time they didn't because they had helicopters up in the air so they couldn't clear them to fly but he said uh, the other two times they did they cleared them to fly so he said you may have to do that if your drone's not taken off so that was pretty cool and sure enough I had to get permission so um, really all I had to do was give them my my phone number well they cleared me first because I because it sends in a thing to the base for clearance and then they sent me the code thing it opened up a code thing on my app and then not even a minute later they sent me the code for take off to use permissions and of course you gotta you know I'll be fully liable and all that you gotta check those mark marks off and uh, you know I know where I'm flying at and and then you hit confirm and then after you hit confirm then then it take took him about 10 minutes but then they cleared me and it took off and it said on the screen when it took off you know your your license d so fly with caution so in other words i, I couldn't go so high which as you've seen we didn't go very high so i just wanted to get some footage of the campground so that was pretty cool i'm making the chili but i'm not gonna make it on the fire it's just too hot to make a fire tonight so I'm just using the stove up here, so. <sighs> Big day. We got to pack up and go home tomorrow, so. All right, guys. I'll be back with you. Okay, guys, so. We got the tent down. Everything's packed up. All we got to do is grab our garbage bag. Yep. And we're out. Sorry I didn't do an outro last night, but I knew today's wasn't going to be a long one, so I put it in with last night's. Well, he was pretty exhausted. That way, the waves really got to you, and no. the sun, and all that at the beach. We had I a good time. Got sick though. overnight, so. Yeah, he's not feeling good, so we got to get him some. That was the first time I've ever went camping and got sick. I went camping while being sick, but I'd rather have been sick 
here than at home. I hate being sick at home. Well, like you said, outdoor. Do. Got some fresh air. Fresh and, air, but. Yeah, and sun. And. So if we run into anything on the way home, I'll throw it in now. If not, well, this will be our outro. Mm -hmm. um, we gotta stop somewhere. I may just pull in somewhere and have them check the pressure and the lug nuts. Yeah. One lug nut was loose. Mm -hmm. It was ready to fly off. That's scary. Yeah, so, I don't know. But anyway, we're going to get the book in. We got like almost a four hour drive home, so. Yep. And uh, we'll say thanks for watching. Hope you guys had a great time. We had a wonderful time. Yep. We'll see y'all in the next one. Bye, y'all. So everybody take care. Shea Bird, Mental Man, Legend, gone for now. Mike Sish, out. Bye, guys. <laughs>